Hello everyone, I've had a request from a viewer who wants me to show them how to clean out the pump filter on my AEG washing machine. So I thought I'd take the opportunity, apart from showing that, I'm just going to give you a few maintenance tips for this machine. But what I'm going to show you in this video should apply to many automatic washing machines. But first of all, I'm going to address the pump filter, show you how to remove it from this particular machine. If your washing machine isn't draining correctly, it could be the result of a blocked pump filter or a kinked drain hose. Now, many automatic washing machines will have a filter to protect the pump from particles such as coins or anything that shouldn't be in the washing machine if you've left items in the pockets. A filter in the pump stops them getting into the pump and damaging the impellers. So on this particular model, we have a circular door that opens up. Some machines might have a little pipe that comes out or a spout because all washing machines will hold a little bit of water in the sump. They never drain completely after the cycle. So we have to get rid of the water. Now I've only got a small dish, but normally you'll need a shallow dish. I've got a baking dish here and place it as near as the base of the washing machine as you can. If you want to, you can put a towel down as well. So on this particular model, you'll see there's a red spout. So I just need to squeeze this together, two tabs, and then gently and slowly lower the spout. And you'll see the water is starting to drain. I can see bits of sediment already actually. This machine's going to get a service wash as well and I'll explain that during the course of the video. Leaving the tray in place, I'm going to turn the pump filter anti-clockwise. It might be quite stiff. There we go. More water may come out, so as I said, keep the tray in place, as I can see more water coming out. Quite a lot of uh, sediment as well, actually. There we go, nearly there. As I said, all washing machines vary. If you haven't got the instruction book for your washing machine, you'll often find them online. So just Google the make and model number of your machine and then follow that with manual or instructions. And nine out of 10 times, you will find an online instruction book. All right, I think I've done. This one doesn't want to come out. Normally it comes out fairly easily, there we go. So, oh, well, there's more sediment and muck in there than I thought. So this is the pump filter on my particular washing machine. So if there was anything large inside here, like a button, paper clip or whatever, it should be caught in this little basket here. But we've got some, ugh, some gunk built up in there, do not feel very nice at all. So you can take this whole unit out and give it a wash in hot soapy water and rinse it. There's a seal on it, you make sure that the seal is in good condition, otherwise that's where it could start leaking, but this is fine, it just needs a bit of a clean. If you have access to a wet and dry vacuum cleaner, that's ideal to suck out any sediment or gunk trapped in the filter housing. I have got one, but uh, it's not to hand, so I'll just use a cloth and just clean out the inside of the filter housing. If it's a bit nasty inside there, you can use a spray kitchen cleaner. You can leave that for a few minutes if there's anything particularly nasty, if there's any black gunk or mold built up inside the filter, leave it to work. And then just, again, wipe it out. Another item I find very useful is an old bottle brush. You can gently clean around the pump filter housing with that. Just don't poke around too hard in case there's anything in there that could be damaged, but just gently rotate it back and forward and that should dislodge any dirt or residue that's built up. 
When everything is clean, you can reinsert the pump filter. So as you can see, I've given this a clean and it goes in this way up with the basket at the bottom. So just slide it in and then in a clockwise direction, screw it up. The red spout should be around vertical now. So there we go, that's the pump filter cleaned out. You can now close the access door. Another part of your washing machine that requires cleaning from time to time is the detergent drawer. And on most washing machines, you should be able to remove this entirely to give it a good clean. Now on my particular model, there's a little press button here at the back Obviously, check your instruction book to find out how to release your detergent drawer. So I'll just take mine out. As I tend to clean my detergent drawer on a regular basis, it's not too bad, but I'm still going to give it a thorough clean. In the fabric conditioner compartment, most washing machines will have a siphon with a part that you can remove. And on my washing machine, it's this gray part. So you can take that off to allow access to the hole. This is where the fabric softener is dispensed into the wash load in the final rinse. So if that hole's blocked, it means the fabric softener won't be able to get into the washer. So you need to make sure that that hole is free. If you think it might be clogged up, I suggest getting something like a cotton bud to poke through the hole. So I'm going to wash this. Now I wouldn't submerge it entirely in water because of the trim at the front. Mine's got a metal trim, so I don't want to damage the finish, but you can certainly submerge the majority of the uh, tray in the washing water to give it a good soaking. You could use a bit of spray bleach if it's got very blackened, but make sure it's thoroughly rinsed out before you put it back in the machine. You'll notice also on the underside, I mean, again, mine's not too bad, but it's very quickly built up a lot of gunk here. Again, an old washing up brush is ideal to use to get all this mess off. So I'm gonna clean that, and then we're going to have a look at the actual part the drawer sits in in the washing machine, because you might be surprised how gunky and messy that gets. You can see from the inside of my washing machine that it's not too dirty, but if you've never cleaned out the compartment where your detergent drawer sits, you may be in for a bit of a shock. So there are several ways you can clean this. To remove the black stuff, a spray cleaner containing bleach is ideal. You could use a steam cleaner if you've got one, but make sure the washing machine is disconnected from the mains before you do so. Or just use plain old elbow grease and an old washing up brush or toothbrush. If the inside of your washing machine is very dirty, I would recommend a spray cleaner containing bleach. Once you've sprayed the cleaner, leave it for a few minutes to allow the bleach to do its job. After a few minutes, you can use an old bottle brush or grout brush to dislodge any of the more stubborn dirt. Okay, so that's the drawer compartment all nice and clean. And as you can see, I've cleaned the detergent drawer. It almost looks brand new. Just got to pop this siphon part back in and then it's ready to go back in the machine. Let's line it up. Just a reminder, if you've used any product containing bleach to clean the detergent drawer or the drawer compartment, you need to make sure it's thoroughly rinsed before using your washing machine again. Another area on your washing machine that may require attention is the door seal. Now, as you can see, mine is completely clean. I think there are a couple of reasons why my door seal hasn't developed that horrible black gunk you see around many washing machines. One reason is I wash at 60 degrees using a biological washing powder at least once a week. I think using a high temperature wash with biological powder can help keep the mold and horrible gunk from forming on the machine and inside the machine where you can't see it. It's also good practice to leave the door slightly ajar. If it's in a utility room, 
open the door as wide as you can. If it's in the kitchen, obviously an open door might get in the way, but just leave it slightly ajar so air can circulate. It's also a good practice to leave the detergent drawer also slightly ajar to allow the air to circulate around the machine. If the inside of your door seal looks like the black hole of Calcutta, you can use a spray bleach cleaner to help remove some of the gunk. If you use bleach though, make sure you rinse it thoroughly. As I've said, you don't want to leave bleach on too long because it could perish or degrade the rubber, but it is one of the best things you can use in order to get it clean. If it's too far gone, you may need to replace the whole door seal. If you have one, a steam cleaner is also a useful tool to help sanitize the inside of your washing machine. Okay, so I've cleaned out the pump filter, the detergent drawer and the drawer compartment. And now it's time to run a maintenance program on my washing machine. Some washing machines actually have a maintenance program or a clean tub program, so you can use that. If you haven't got a program like that, it's always best to use the hottest program. And on a UK washing machine, that tends to be 90 to 95 degrees. Now I've got a sample of different washing machine cleaners and descalers. If you live in a hard water area, it might be advisable to use a descaler such as this one. This just goes in the machine and you run it empty. I don't need to descale my machine. I live in a very soft water area, so I don't think I have that problem here. I just want to give it a good clean and a sanitize. And also I want to make sure the machine is thoroughly rinsed out. Any bleach residue that's left, I want to make sure that's all gone before I put my clothes in the machine again. You can buy all sorts of different types of cleaner. This is a powder. This is made by a washing machine manufacturer. So if you have this brand of washing machine, you could buy their own stuff or from any supermarket. This is one I quite like. It's Dettol washing machine cleaner. You just put this in the machine, run the machine, as I said, on the hottest program and everything should come out clean and fresh. This particular washing machine cleaner can also be used diluted to clean the detergent drawer and the door seal. To use it this way, add around 15 millilitres of solution to 200 millilitres of water. 15 millilitres is around a tablespoon. The rest of the solution goes in the detergent drawer just before you start the washing machine. Yesterday I ran a 95 degree program to wash some tea towels, so I'm not going to do another 95 degree maintenance program. 60 degrees will be sufficient. In fact, on the bottle of this particular cleaner, it says run the washer at 60 degrees. If your washer is very dirty and smelly, I would still suggest running it at the highest temperature, 90 or 95. Now, as my washing machine doesn't have a specific maintenance program, I'm going to run it on cottons, but increase the temperature to 60. Let's press the button, there we go. I don't want it running at the full three hours, nine minutes though, so my particular machine has a time save. I'm going to reduce that, I think, to one hour 14. So I'm going to run the washing machine at 60 degrees for one hour 14 minutes, so it's going to have a full wash, rinses and spin, and then everything should be clean, ready for my next wash. One tip, if you're using this liquid, make sure that if your washing machine uses liquid detergent and has a flap, make sure that flap is closed, or I'm going to actually pour this detergent in as the machine's filling, because I don't want any to get wasted in the sump of the machine.
Well, there you go. That's the maintenance program finished. So I just need to open the door. I'll give the uh, porthole a dry. And just make sure there's no water left in the door seal. I'll dry that as well. And I, it smells very nice as I open the door. This particular one is a, a lemon fragrance. Absolutely spotless. So now I can leave my machine with the door ajar and the detergent drawer slightly open. And it'll be all fresh for next time. I hope you found this video interesting and useful. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. And if you have any washing machine tips yourself, please comment below. Thanks for watching and I'll see you all very soon. Bye for now.